have you back. South African anti-apartheid campaigner Winnie Mandela has died at the age of 81. Yeah, Winnie was born on September 26, 1936 in Eastern Cape Province. Uh, she uh, and was former wife of South Africa's first black president, Nelson Mandela. Now, the couple were a symbol of the anti-apartheid struggle for nearly three decades. But in later years, her reputation became tainted legally and uh, politically. Uh, we have, of course, in the studio, Cyril Abak, who's still here with us to talk about uh, her passing. Cyril, should we even talk about the, the political tanglings she had, really? But first off, how she struggled for the emancipation of the black people in her, in her own country, mm. alongside her former husband. Yes, again, um, before I, I, I even come to that, I think I will be drawing a parallel between what, her, what Winnie's life, her political, a timeline of her political um, life, mm. and what is perhaps lacking even in her own client. You know, she was politically conscientized at a very early age. Mm. She was in high school, and then she became, uh, because I think of, it, of the teachers she, she had there, uh, she became politically conscientized and stayed true to the cause um, till her dying days. Like your intro rightly pointed out, Nelson Mandela and Winnie Mandela were essentially that couple that um, South Africans looked up to. Even before Mandela became president, Mm -hmm. It was as if among black, um, the black nationalists, those were their first, the yeah, their president mm -hmm. and first lady. So, in terms of their married life, they didn't spend much time together. Mm -hmm. That is the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the 38 years that they were ever married, they he separated. spent 27 years mm -hmm. were spent on Robben Island. Mm -hmm. So, what basically happened was that she would always go there and come out and say, um, this is what uh, Madiba said, and so on. And so she was a saint, and I, I mean, for, for that alone, she got a lot of international honors. So yes, in terms of her activism, in terms of her militant commitment to the war against apartheid, she stayed true to the cause up until then. And I think that, like um, um, Sulu Ramaphosa rightly pointed out, you know, she was one of those few originals that were still alive up until yesterday. Walter Sisulu, hmm. Oliver Thambo, um, Nelson Mandela, of course. Um, even even Desmond Tutu. In a, in a, still, yes, still Desmond Tutu, who, 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 who later became the chairman of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, mm. um, which of course indicted her, you know, mm. for some of the, for some of the things that also happened, supposedly in her name, mm. in her name. So yes, she was she was that activist. She was that. I I, I think that circumstances do make men, and she was a proper child of that circumstance that prevailed um, in, 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 in South Africa in those years. Um, she, will be, she will be missed. For some, she was not all, she, I think in, in later years for some, she sort of lost it with a, a, with, with a section of South Africans. Mm. But I think that when you put everything together on the scale, you can't write her off. Mm. She was there at some point, and she was there for good. Well, when it comes to the symbol of what she represents, uh, Mandela, Mandela was, was in prison for 27 years, mm -hmm. and the period of time he was in prison, she was shining out there, mm -hmm. and she kept the Mandela name out there mm -hmm. flying so high. Mm -hmm. And one thought that when, when Mandela came out, for whatever reason, they could still have, um, you know, went on together as the case mm -hmm. may be, but mm -hmm. that divorce wasn't really avoidable at the time. Well, it was personal to them, though, but I just want course. us to be able to just see yeah. just an overview. Oh, well, um, different strokes, as they say, for, mm. for, for different folks. But I think that, I can't put what's in Mandela's mouth, but mm. um, essentially, you know that their marriage was, a, they, they married under very political circumstances. And I think that over time, Mandela's absence while he was at Robin mm -hmm. put her in the spotlight put her in leadership, put her in power. And so it would appear that by the time he came out, of course, the figure he caught was still the figure that he retained. But I think that there couldn't have been two centers of power. There couldn't have been two centers of power. And so one person will, will have to take the lead. Either she will, be, she will continue to do what she had been used to doing, which is to provide some sort of leadership to a section of the party and the nation mm -hmm. and so on, or she was to queue behind Mandela. 
I think that um, that transition back to where perhaps they used to be before he went to prison had become a little bit difficult for them. And then because of some of the things she got involved in, of that course, Madiba of course, didn't of like, course. Now, which so, tainted yes, her image. Yes, you see, because on both, both on, the, on the part of the apartheid government and on the part of, and on the other side as well, like the Reconciliation Commission rightly pointed out, there had been infractions. It was not clearly a case of one side is saintly, the other side is devilish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So please follow my line of thought. While he was away, in, you know, they talked about abductions, mm. they talked about um, killings, and so on, and that they were done in her name. Mm. So this is something that she had, you know, that she had, she had, she, she now, she now wielded a some, 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 some sort of authority, and to take, and to take her out of that place where she had some measure of control. You know that the commission indicted her. In later years, a court also sent her to five years that in prison, right. which was later upturned. Oh. Mm. You know, somebody needs a place of power, a place of authority, to be able to um, um, effectively be in control of those things that had happened, perhaps on what things that had happened. Because if you suddenly lose power, anything could happen to you. Mm -hmm. So. Are you following my line of thought? So, she need, so I think Mandela would, would have to be the overall leader, but she may not be able to leave the limelight so soon. And so that was the, the actual friction. The, the, that, the, that, yes, the friction yes, between. Yes. Yes. So it, it, was, it, was, it was bad enough that the commission said that she was morally and politically accountable for certain things. But that commission came in later years. I don't know what would have happened if she had so easily or so early relinquished her her place. It didn't matter whether she was an executive or not, but she being in that position gave her some, some, some sort of political capital mm. to be able to also guide, um, to be on the guard. But if she laid down her guard so soon, we, no, nobody knows what would have happened. Mm. Because see, even in the ANC, you, could, you couldn't have ruled out certain sort of power, power struggles here and there. Mm -hmm. And so she needed her court and she needed big to stay, uh, to be in control. And so Mandela came out, yes, and, and he needed to be, and you know, if she had been a party devotee, just for that sake. It's a little different thing, but she was a party devotee. She was a leader, leader. of some sort. And then she was also wife of... So mm -hmm. the, the sense in, in which people are looking up to Madi, to Madi by a savior, as is that, you know, the way she would look at her <laughs> husband, it's not the same way <laughs> as she would look. <laughs> this, it's she not the same used, way. They, they needed to, to be a leader. Yeah, so no. that, that was, that was that the... That was a clash. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yes that was well, the no point of, 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 of departure. And mm -hmm. a, a, again, you see, even when he became president, I, 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 when he came out and then he became president, they were still officially married, mm -hmm. but they had become, and in his own way. when they got divorced, she kept the name. No, well, of course she did. What she now did was to be Winnie Mandela and then bring in her maiden name, Madikizela, Madikizela. Mm -hmm. which she had dropped up after they had got married mm -hmm. before um, he came out of prison. So what basically happened was that up until when he became, he came out of prison and became president, they were still officially married, but separated. But you know, they were no longer. Mm. And then the divorce was concluded about two years later. Mm. Um, and then she did, wasn't even recogni recognized in Madiba's will that Grace Michelle got almost the large part that she had to even want to go to court to you know demand that the home you know mm. to give it to her. And yes, all yes, all she did. But I mean, it, it's amazing that um, Grace Michelle herself came out and said that look, they, they weren't really really on the best of terms, but that but, uh, Winnie was a hero. Mm -hmm. That, that was quite profound. That, 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 that was quite unprecedented for, I mean, s looking at the stakes and the way mm -hmm. things were, for Grasso to, to have come gracefully to say, mm. um, I, I, Winnie, think, I think Grasso Marcel yes, understood Winnie, the Winnie time. Was a hero. Yes, she understood did. the time. And yeah. at, the, at the level they were at that time, they weren't going to be doing love, no, any no. love, whatever. It, it was more about the. Uh, you know, hold this thing together what morally, the the, politically, the and so on. So, so okay. that's uh, that's basically what it is. But Cyril, we must thank you for coming on the program. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you.